did we actually survive all that that sort of death and mayhem that could have surrounded us at any time? To me, it's just amazing that we're still here. Is when did we stop becoming, uh, you know, so afraid of the carnivores? And that's not to say that I wouldn't be afraid if you put me out in the middle of Serengeti with a lion, but. You know, when did we stop uh, being just prey? And we can tell in the fossil record that the big carnivores in the past ate our ancestors. We have puncture marks from teeth. We have chew marks on our bones. Um, it was a really scary time. When did we become, though, the kind of animal that could go out in the Serengeti, like, say, the Maasai do today, and kill a lion with our bare hands? So, you know, we didn't need rifles, we didn't need shotguns and things like that. I'm really interested in that, and to do that, instead of actually studying the human skeleton, I study the carnivores, because we can detect changes in the carnivores that reflect when humans became more aggressively carnivorous, when we stopped just sort of stealing from the, the prey that other animals had hunted and started going out and aggressively um, you know, defending our own prey that we had taken. The study that I was involved in has pushed back the genus Homo further and further, yet it doesn't correlate with changes in, in carnivores. So becoming you know, the genus Homo, having that you know, the bigger brain, it didn't really change our dietary behavior that much. It's not till we see a creature called Homo erectus around 1.8 million years that we can really see a shift in what the carnivores are doing as well. And we see a shift in what the humans are doing, what the carnivores are doing, and after 1.8 million years, the sad thing is that all the incredible carnivore species that were alive in Africa start to go extinct. Get informed on today's top.